On this slide we talk about flabby sheaves and acyclic sheaves. So the content of the proposition is that all flabby sheaves are acyclic. So let us write this down. For any flabby sheaf A on topological space X we have so this HI the cohomology group in the ith part is 0 for i greater than 0 so this is the definition also of acyclic sheaf so all flabby sheaves are acyclic so let us write down the proof so first recall that we we were able to form a resolution of A by discontinuous sections. So we take A, we embed A into D0 which is set of discontinuous sections or a sheaf of discontinuous sections of A. Then we took a quotient map and formed Q0 out of it. Q0 was D0 over image of A which is just A because it injects into D0. Now we want to construct a short exact sequence of abelian groups. Yeah, since A injects in D0, we just start the complex from 0 to D0 and A is just part of 0, it just completely injects into it. So we will get the following exact sequences. Now first notice that we have a resolution of a sheaf a yeah, in terms of D0, D1, D2, D3 in terms of discontinuous sections and we had constructed this before. Now we are just going to append some exact sequences to this resolution which we have also constructed before. So you start from Z to D0 that is because A completely is contained in D0. Then you form the quotient map Q0. From Q0 you form the sheaf of discontinuous sections of Q0 so Q0 embeds into it that is called D1 and then map from D0 to D1 is nothing but composition of map from D0 to Q0 and Q0 to D1 the next step was that you form Q1 a surjective map this Q1 is nothing but D1 over image of D0 then Q1 injects into sheaf of discontinuous sections D2. D2 is sheaf of discontinuous sections of Q0. Then the map from D1 to D2 is nothing but composition of map from D1 to Q1 and Q1 to D2. Again, from D2 you want to form Q2. Q2 is nothing but D2 over image of D1 then Q2 injects into D3 where D3 is the discontinuous sections of Q2 and map from D2 to D3 is nothing but composition of D2 to Q2 and then Q2 to D3. So let us write down the ith part of this. So you have Di minus 1. You have to form Qi out of it or qi minus 1 qi minus 1 injects into di di is the sheaf of discontinuous sections of qi minus 1 then this phi i minus 1 is composition of phi var phi i minus 1 and that injective map from qi minus 1 to di then you take di and you form a this quotient sheaf QI. QI is nothing but DI over image of TI minus 1. Then you form map from DI to DI plus 1 which is the composition of maps from DI to QI and DI to and QI to DI plus 1. 
Yeah, so basically the resolution maps from D0 to D1, D1 to D2, D2 to D, D3, these are all compositions. Yeah. So notice that kernel of phi i is nothing but kernel of var phi i. Yeah, because map from qi to di plus 1 is injective. Okay, so what is kernel of phi i? Now kernel of phi i is nothing but qi minus 1. Why? Because we have a short exact sequence from qi minus 1 which index injects into di and we have surjective map from di to qi. So we have this short exact sequence which I show by appending zeros in rust color. So therefore kernel of var phi i is nothing but q i minus 1. Now we have to talk about the image. So what is image of phi i minus 1? So image of phi i minus 1 is again image of var phi i minus 1. So let us write this down. Yeah, again because the map from q i minus 1 to d i is injective. So q i minus 1 completely goes into d i. And we also have the short exact sequence. from q i minus 2 to d i minus 1 then 0 to q i minus 2 to d i minus 1 to q i minus 1. So you can see the image is nothing but q i minus 1. Okay so now when we talk about h i x comma a we are talking about the cohomology groups of the resolution of sheaf a. So sheaf A is resolved into D0, D1, D2, D3 and so on. This is called the Godement resolution. So definition of HI x comma A is kernel of phi i over image of phi i minus 1. So this is nothing but q i minus 1 over q i minus 1. And this is 0. So we are done. So very important consequence of this is that if you have a short exact sequence of sheaves say from 0 to A to B to C and these sheaves are flabby in fact if A and B are flabby C will automatically be flabby we have we have an exact sequence in global sections So this sequence is also exact. So this is a short exact sequence because H i x comma a is so H i should be H one. So we have h0, 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 then h1 and h1 is h1 x comma a is 0. So yeah, so for flabby sheaves. So we have the sequence of global sections is also exact. And uh, a few lectures ago we were talking about it was only left exact and not completely exact and flabby sheaves solve this problem. So now let us talk about the definition of acyclic sheaves. So a sheaf on a topological space is acyclic so this sheaf is say A if 
this cohomology group is zero for i greater than zero. So example is number one a flabby sheaf is acyclic. And uh, second is from algebraic topology this example has been taken. This I have discussed in my lectures on algebraic topology and cohomology. So Rn is homotopically equivalent to a point. So that is the point in the second part. And this is just integers and for and this is zero for i greater than 0.